All right, it's getting to be summertime, and we started hearing a clicking back late winter time when we turned that rear air on on this navigator, and um, we wasn't getting no air. Well, the the heat in the front keeps the car pretty warm. We never had too much issues in the winter time because we live in the south. It doesn't get really really cold in the winter time. But uh, I needed to figure out which blend door actuator needed to be replaced on this thing so I took this little thing out here you know they'll say you need a little kitty claw trim tool um, I just took this little this is for a skill saw for tightening up the blades and I just stuck it under here and just popped it come down popped it popped it popped it you could do the same with a flat screwdriver I guess but that's got a little wider tongue on it so anyways I just popped all that out you can sit this out you can do the same thing with the cup holder and this you have a blend door actuator this is actually the part and it's mounted right here up inside that little recess now I don't know if you can see it or not but you actually have another one down inside of here I don't know if you can see that or not down in there well problem is is you never know which one you got to replace or if you got to replace both um, I haven't replaced this one so I'm not gonna tell you how easy it is but a lot of people say you got to rip this whole side of the interior out to get to it um, I have seen places where they just loosen this up pop it back where they can get to the screws and take it out this one I just went through the cup holder, went through the top, used the eight millimeter gear wrench, took them out. I will say, make sure you have a telescope and magnet handy because I did drop my wrench once. I had to grab it and get it back up out of there because there's not enough hand room and I did drop one of the screws. So it's good to have your little magnet to get all that stuff out with. But it don't matter whether you know which one is broke or not you got to take all this shit apart to get to it so basically what I did was I turned the key on crunk up the car had no air out the overhead vents so I turned the air on and you hear this clicking noise well you don't know if it's this one or the one that's down here you don't know um, even if you put your hand on it you can feel the vibration from both of them so Basically what you want to do is it's got a plug on the side of them. You just unplug that first one up front. That's easy to get to. If the clicking stops, you know that's your problem. If not, you unplug the one in here. And if it stops clicking, there's your problem. But the whole thing is, about this, is the several model years use the same similar system, but they have a different key. Now here's the key that comes out the other end if you can look and see what's wrong with this thing is they made these little plastic gears in here and you can see the gears are just all shredded off you know you have this gear that cuts back and forth little plastic gears the teeth are all gone on this one if you can tell so that's the reason why it wouldn't flip over and give us hot it wouldn't give us any air We'll put all that stuff back together we don't need it but the problem is this piece goes over here you know you got your little gears that reduce it they have different shapes of these some of them are across this one's the cross and some of them are d-shaped so you have to take this box out to figure out what kind of keyway you need so you can order the right one because the last thing you want to do is order a d-shaped one if you get a cross and vice versa but it's hot down here in the summer what you can do is you can take this key and put it back in here until you can get it to line up down in the hole and while you might not be able to turn your air conditioning on and adjust it you can take this and flip it from hot to cold so flip it off you got no air crank up the car flip this over you got air and that at least keep your family cool 
or if you don't have a family to keep you cool while you're ordering the part because if you go buy this part at the dealership you're gonna pay upwards uh 60 70 80 bucks for it where you can order these online for about 30 dollars 30 to 40 dollars i'm shipped to your house you got to take it apart anyways in here to find out what size what uh shape key you need and in the meantime you don't have to put all this stuff together and be riding around with no air in the rep back you can just put that key in there and flip it over make sure you got air coming from the roof vents and you're ready to ride till your new part comes in i hope this helps somebody out getting warm so we want to keep cool till we at least get our replacement parts i'm going real quick disclaimer this little key turn it over that way that turns your air off turn it over that way air on so now oh yeah hair blowing in the breeze all right